Um, Joey Stillings, Field Artillery, Fort Bliss. Jack Selankiewicz, Engineers, Fort Cavazos. Mike Tangretti, Infantry, Fort Bliss. Thankful I got all those names in as we are underway because they all matter. They are going to do things that are much more important than this lacrosse game. Game engagement in that way. Well, Army, they do. They ride very well, but they don't typically take the goalie out of the cage. So we'll see what they do here. Colgate first offensive possession. Curl in front, shot, score! That remain was that trouble. Somebody down low. It's one nothing. Colgate. Look at this roll by Trumbull here. And Trumbull going to get inside. And he finishes in front of the cage. He's hanging out opposite the box in a little hangman situation for that ground ball. It's five on five right now. Spazino able to get back now. Fellows, Fellows, blinks right, turns left. Makes it in front. Shot goes out of the stick of Iker as trying to fight it and doing so is Lacombe. That's a big. Shifted back far side as the Raiders still. Looking for an open shot. They got plenty of time. Trumbull has the goal for the Raiders. Kept to the outside. Now it seems to have a seam. Throws it in front. Save made by Byrne. As he'll collect the rebound and try to get things back started for all. Ball him is as big as a beach ball. And right there, Colgate, they slide to Spazito rolling back and don't give him a chance to kind of survey the situation. So kind of close out with the slide and disrupts that shot. Gates trying to get across midfield. He gives it away. Army might have numbers. The other one, the come gets back in. Iker scores! He dies in the deep end of Crandall. We're tied at one. And we talked about Colgate's ride, but this is an Army team that is excellent in that department as well. And Iker causes the turnover, and he will go all the way for the West. Rumble wants to rumble, but instead he's confined to the corner. As staring him down is Coletti, who is not normally out still this far after losing a faceoff, but he had no choice as Colgate wanted to move quickly. Minicus will lob it back, almost picked off, and now Colgate will maintain possession. Shot, score! Launching it was Truen as Colgate regained the lead. And Druin, five in the Colgate jersey. Nothing fancy about this. Alley dodge on the run. And he. So at least we have some standard now established by the officials as what's going to be called today and not. As Gate will go back to work here. What's been a frantic first quarter, only three goals, but it's not because the gangs can't shoot straight. The defense have been really, really good for both teams. Some block shots already. And considering the pace of this game, the defense has been excellent. Does the fast pace here help Army or does it help Colgate? More right I think now? I think Army's proven this season they can run and gun with anybody. Run in front, score! Great distribution by Liam Connor. Was able to find the man in front. It was Rory Connor. Why not? As Gates is out to a 3-1 lead. And Connor takes the contact. Finds his brother on the crease, and he buries it for Colgate. This game's a lot of fun. We've got a lot more game to go here on ESPN. Pit measure here, trying to clog up those lanes. Shifted back with 12 left on the timer now. Good calm defending by Mazer. Roll in front, ball is loose, and it ultimately comes to burn. Get the ball from defense to offense, and sometimes that means switching with attackmen, uh, Middy's going over, attackmen going over, and sometimes that can happen. Drew it. Fire scores! Hunter Drew it, drills it by Byrne, his second of the game, and Gate leads four to one. And Hunter Drew in, rolls back on the short stick, gets top side, and he lets it fly. Great shot location, off, off stick hip. Let me settle back in. They've got 40 to shoot. They've got plenty of time. Connor kept to the outside. Now tries to roll back in. Brings it back to the left side. Hit front shot. Score! It rattled in and out. Iker gets his second, and Army gets back in the board. It's 4-2. And Bailey.
Kelly O'Connor showcasing the depth of this midfield. This might be the best midfield in the country. He draws the slide, threads the needle to Iker through the defense. Iker is piping hot as Yates will wind it back for Lacombe. 20 seconds left in the quarter. And it looks like we've got, looks like he didn't get it up in time. He lost track of time. Army will get it back quickly. Final chance here in the first quarter. Could tie it with a goal. Plunkett has lane score! Army takes advantage of a rare unforced error for the second straight possession, and we're all squared four. And Plunkett, the bigger the moment, the better he plays. Rolls back to the middle. middle. So that's how we get to four for Army. Shots in the first quarter. I believe Army had eight and Colgate had eight as to lead. Army was down 4-1, to one, got some luck to tie the game at the end of the first. Roll is extended. As the Raiders still a possession shot, never got to burn. It was blocked in front. Able to come with a ground ball after the block was Sullivan. As I think that was Rory uh, Connor who was trying to turn and fire. This one is thrown out of bounds like garbage into the dumpster. So Colgate will come back with it quickly. Shift to the left side, score! Colgate takes advantage of an army mistake. Turner turns the beat around and Gate leads 5-4. And you see what happens when you don't clear the ball. It creates unsettled situations just like this. And Turner, the junior from Ridge High School, let's see if they try to sub him off. They will. Drew it. Tries to direct traffic. Every intersection right now is a four-way stop, and people are running those red lights. Rory Connor kept to the outside, now tries to try through pass in front, no shot yet. Now they do get it in front, they score! Liam Connor well, had a little, little bit of a hitch there, but he's still able to drill it on net, and it's 6-4 gate. And that's the second connection we've seen of the two brothers so far, and it starts with brother Rory. Draws the attention of the defense, finds his finds his brother. Back around again. Colgate running all over the place. Army just trying to keep up right now. As are the rest of us. Ball is spilled once more as picking up with his trident is Nixon. And Nixon and Fournier, the two LSMs, two of the challenge for them. Coach George Alice, the defensive coordinator, does an excellent job with this unit. So it's a full minute. Colgate has what feels like an eternity. Hammer score! Target hit, target destroyed. As the Raiders make quick work, I think that was Trumbull from an odd angle, and it's seven to four. Looks like it was Turner who just looked for a good shot. Minicus worked it back to the point. It's juggled. No shot taken. It's trying to cut back, though. Trumpenstein loses his balance. Head over T. Kennelly goes, getting to the bottom of Mazur as well. We've got a whistle. And this one is going to go against Colgate. We've got a flag on the play. To play with your first offense as they'll sub. Morin worked it back. It came to Iker. Iker gets dragged. That fires it wide, and he's drawn another penalty, I think. Multiple flags on the field. Did somebody just try to get in his grill? Looks like they got him in the helmet. We'll take a look at this. Yes, oh. absolutely. That's a long stick from Yates. Doesn't sound intuitive, but sometimes that's the way it breaks. Morin. Iker. Got it back from Fellows. Fellows again. Doesn't shoot Iker. Fellows again. Fire. Scores! Fellows explodes that one past Lacombe. Army succeeds on the EMO. It's now 7 to 5. And this is why you do the 5 on 4s, the 4 on 3s, the 6 on 5s in practice. When the defense throws a changeup at you, you adjust, and Gunner Fellows delivers. Pulls the Army Black Knights within two. Army clearly had the inside track based on the teams they've defeated. I would say Army certainly would be in a better spot, but if Colgate were to get the win, they would be in a pretty good spot themselves. They'd have two top 10 wins. 
They'd be in the conversation. I don't think Colgate's in the conversation unless they win today. As trying to get through is Liam Connor. He does fire a pass and a great save made by Burn. Able to hit the stop on Turner. What a save by Burn behind the back. <laughs> <laughs> and he sees it, Burrs, in terms of RPI, which is the metric that the NCAA uses is much better this season than it was a year ago. I believe they were 13th the last I checked. 10 second difference between game and shot. So Army must shoot. Plunk it. Put it back behind. Burek. Rotated well. It comes to Geekus. Geekus doesn't shoot yet. Now it's O'Connor. O'Connor still with it. Defers. Shot got blocked as Geekus was looking to shovel it through. Ball is loose. Colgate come up with it. As the shot clock. I think so. We'll see what they do here. I mean, Colgate excellently coached as well, so they'll have some adjustments. This one's going against Gates. Army will have the first opportunity here in the second half. A goal would cut it to one. Full of play they can't reach. Keeley. Kept to the outside, found some help. It is Druitt. On him is Fournier. Druitt. Unloads, no pass, instead score! Tremendous threading of the needle in front. As putting this one home is Favaro, I think, and Gate is back up by three. And Favar Favaro going to sneak up the hash, and he's going to finish in As Colgate will just continue to milk that clock. Every second, every second it comes off, Army has to play with more urgency. They are the team that's trailing. We've got a whistle. And are saying that there was a foot in the crease. Army gets it back on an unforced error. And I think that's just the nature of this game right now. There are mistakes being made that otherwise would not be. Not score! Iker nails that one home, and Army is back with a two. And Jackson Iker. That's three for number three, and it starts with Fournier in the middle of the field. And he hits Jackson Iker. Time, room, bullseye for three and white. Fournier able to help it back. Ultimately, Iker will take it and go near side now for Fellows. Fellows. Urich. As the Black Knights get their offense back on the field. Morin. Now for Plunkett. Back line for Fellows. Morin. Can't shoot yet. Iker. Back to Morin. Fire scores! And suddenly the margin is one. And this is great lacrosse by Army. Jacob Morin, 90 and white. He delivers. This is a nice give and go. He hits Iker. Defense swarms on Iker. And he. Work back. O'Connor. Morin has to reroute. O'Connor again. Plunkett, 13 left of the timer. Plunkett, looking to dish. Morin, back to Plunkett. Somebody's got to shoot. In front of Cape Scar! We are tied at eight. And this is beautiful ball movement by Army. It started with Plunkett. And Fellows gonna get underneath. And he ties things up here for, for Army. Gunner Fellows with his 20th of the season, third of the day. Plunkett gets the assist at 6.30. Faceoffs right now are 14-3 in favor of Army. Coletti is back out there. Stalemate continues. Army helping out thanks to the vacuum cleaner, nor is Fournier. But they got to be responsible for the ball, and they are not here. Brought back. Fire. Score! And taking a bow almost. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rory Connor was that to Druin again. And this is a Colgate team. They thrive in the chaos, and this is an example here. They lose the faceoff, but they force it into a into a riding situation, cause the turnover, and Connor takes advantage of it. Had clawed its way back to tie it. Again, Army has not had the lead in this game. Colgate led four to one, and then they led seven to four and eight to five. Ground ball, they score. Tremble again. Gate wastes no time. 
And suddenly it's 11 to 8. And Trumbull, 24 in the Raider jersey. Going to find the soft spot in the man down defense. And the bouncer gets past Byrne. Pizzito. Burek. Wants to shoot from out there a bit too far. Angle changes. Spazito wants to get closer. Funnels it back. Burek unloads a bouncer. Say rebound is just squirted wide. And we've got a whistle, they say. Trying to be patient here, but playing fast as well. Morin. Colgate forcing him back. Plunkett able to work it on the far side. And we'll be back again for Fellows. Fellows stays out of the crease. Looks to roll, but kept to the outside. Trying to funnel it in front, but it's intercepted as the Raiders stand strong again. Here comes. So let's see what happens out of the timeout. This is the most critical juncture of the game. Shift it back, they score! Spazita says, I had it all the way, and Colgate leads by five for the first time today. And Spazita catches this ball. He's running out of an angle, and he goes behind the back to increase his angle. Beautiful, certainly plenty of time to come back here, especially with Coletti. So we'll see how both teams want to attack it here. Liam Connor kept to the outside. Tries to roll, flipped it in front. How did he get that shot to him? Connor made the play, and a beautiful finish by, yes, it's Rory. They really do share the same brain, DNA or otherwise. It is now 14-8 with 1-10 up to the third. And this is just a beautiful play here. Connor to Connor. Senses the pressure <laughs> behind the back, threads the needle. And coached at Denver a while back. Not impossible for Army, but Will Coletti's gonna have to be immaculate and his team's gonna have to score some goals for him. He gets hacked at here. And they're gonna say it's going back to California. The clock continues to run. A curl in front, save it by Bird. Rebound is loose on the deck. We've got a whistle. And I think we have at least two guys who've been in the crease. And Army gets a break there, and 20 turnovers already today for Army. Only, Ab Army, only averaging 12, 13. Yates on him. Full minute left on the timer. Time starting to run out for Army. O'Connor kept to the outside, put it back behind. Fellows swept back, all the way comes to Morin. Morin has Tedesco on him. Shifted for Plunkett. Now O'Connor. O'Connor unloads. Never got to the net. Was blocked in front. And here come the Raiders quickly on the counter. Stick and ball are split apart. Now we've got a whistle. And this one's going against Colgate. Looks like they'll get him for playing without the stick. Morin doesn't shoot. But somebody else does, it's Burek, and Army has a pulse. It is 14-9 with 9.53 left. And Army takes advantage of an unsettled situation. Going the other way as Colgate gets called for playing without the lacrosse stick. And Morin, he's going to pass up a good shot for a great shot. And Reese Burek changes his planes. And he bears. It's a huge possession defensively. They want to get this comeback. Favaro. We'll just wind it back here. Rory Connor. Get to the outside. Sullivan keeping tabs on him. Ball comes out. It's still loose. It's dubbed forward. Shot clock does not reset. Down goes Stillings. It's almost given away. Army and Turner again. Unreleasable. Similar to a major penalty in hockey. Army can score at will. But they need to get one more, I'd say, to give themselves a chance here. O'Connor gave it back. Gets it back himself. Fellows, no shot yet. Now they shoot. Iker scores. 
The patient's got a heartbeat start the ambulance. It's 14-11 with 3.23 left. And Jackson Eicher has been excellent today. Shoots around his defender and he pins the corner. Here comes the cavalry. As trying to move in front as O'Connor trying to do it himself. And the window may have just been double paned here as Colgate with an opportunity to run most, if not all, the clock left. Difference between game and shot and one in the Patriot League are now tied with BU and Navy for first. Army has gone from being ranked number one to now being tied for fourth, a game out of first place. And guess what? Navy is here next week. Colgate has certainly opened some eyes, and they may very well be ranked when the polls come out on Monday. Where does Army end up in the rankings? 